This is Twit. Last week, uh, at the very last minute, right before the show, I unboxed a phone that I had just received, and that would be this one. And you may remember this from last week, the Red Hydrogen One, this beast of a phone. And when I say beast of a phone, I, I really do mean it. This thing just feels so large. I mean, next to the Pixel 2 XL, it like it. It's hardly a shadow, the Pixel 2, uh, 3 XL. No, hardly. Uh, it overtakes to, it. It's a blanket. Yeah, yeah, totally. This thing is gigantic. <laughs> and I mean, it's just, it's and such heavy. a- heavy. Heavy. Yes, it's heavy. It's got really unique styling, design stylings, as you can see, Kevlar and aluminum. The whole thing is just a really unique device. So um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of walk you through this. Wait, it's made of Kevlar. Yeah, Kevlar. Well, Kevlar, I'm back. You got some Kevlar and you got some aluminum uh, around the sides. It just feels tight. Like it feels like you you don't even need a case. You could just drop this thing and it's always going to like work. a Hummer. <laughs> yes, oh, <laughs> actually, <laughs> that's really a great comparison. This is probably the Hummer brand of of uh, smartphones right here um, because it's it's got a lot of like like tough, durable kind of stylings to it. Um, it's extreme. It's extreme, exactly. <laughs> and it's good. this is only going to appeal to a certain group of people. And I think the, the challenge for Red here is that the people who they want it to appeal to are camera enthusiasts. And the kind of sad part is that though the camera does some really interesting thing with uh, something they call 4V uh, or holographic 4V, 4 view, uh, which is basically the stereoscopic uh, camera capabilities on the front and back. So that's unique, but as a, and as a general purpose camera, it's kind of like, okay, it's all right. It's, there's nothing special about it. And then you tack on the fact that it's almost $1,300 for this phone. And it's just a really interesting combination, confluence of, of features and, uh, and, and things that they're offering here that I don't know if it necessarily adds up yet. The question mark is whether it's going to add up once they start releasing uh, module, modular uh, components for this, which I'll talk about in a second. Uh, you can buy this well, online or at Verizon and AT&T stores right now. My, my, my question when, when we were talking about it, um, who, had, who had this phone already? Uh, Mr. Mobile had it, right? Uh, did Michael have this phone? Uh, Michael yeah, Fisher, when he, he, was yeah when he was on yeah. a couple months ago. Yeah. So like, is there any benefit if I'm a filmmaker that uses a red camera to use this phone? Or is it literally just a brand play that like you like our our film cameras to use the phone? I think that that is the open question. Uh, yeah, because, because the modules is what we'll answer at, right? Right. So you can see there's the pogo pins on the back, and basically yeah. what they what Red has said. Uh, has said at this point is that they're going to, that's a new Huawei watch right there. Right, I know, I know. I walked right into that, uh, <laughs> is that starting in 2019 sometime, they don't have a specific date, but there will be modules released for this, including from what I understand, a very, uh, a cinema, uh, style or cinema class, capable camera with a mount that would mount onto here. So the idea being that if you had that and you had this phone, you'd have a, a relatively moderately priced uh, red camera, you know, and, and I mean, red cameras are not inexpensive. The whole camera line is, is very expensive. So if this was like your entry level point, you get the phone, you get the modular camera for it, and it's good enough, then this might be a really great entry point for beginning red photographers or someone who wants the red capability in their pocket in, um, in more of a mobile sense. So the long-term play is potentially very promising. Right now, though, is when the phone is available. And what do you get right now for $1,300? You get a Snapdragon 835, which is last year's top-of-the-line processor, not this year's, because this thing has been in the works for quite a while. Uh, you get 6 gigs of RAM, which is just fine, 128 or 256 gig storage options inside. You do get the 5.7 holographic four-view capable display. Most of the time, it's showing 2D uh, at 2560 by 1440. Uh, but if you're looking at uh, capable or compatible content, which I can pull up and, and we'll do, you know, it's basically impossible to show this off uh, on here. But if I pull up, let's see here. Oh, this was done with the, so you can kind of see if I switch it around, you see how things kind of shift. It's yeah, really yes. very similar to the lenticular display that uh, that you've seen a million times. Like I think I mentioned it last week on like lunchboxes is one example. Um, I compared it side by side uh, with a three D Nintendo three DS, and mm. the 
The effect is very similar. So if you've seen 3D on a 3DS, the effect is very similar. The difference is the 3DS also has some capability of shifting perspective. It, it, it's able to shift perspective based on where it tracks your head in space. This does not have that. So when you rotate side to side, yeah, you get a 3D view, but it kind of snaps into place as you see it kind of snaps left or right. And uh, that's about all you get. It, it gives some people headaches. Other people are like, oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know if it's cool enough to base your entire technology around, but I think that's part of what Red is hoping for. Uh, two 12 megapixel cameras on the back, uh, on the rear facing uh, side, uh, of course, for stereoscopic shooting. So there, there you are. You can only shoot in stereoscopic mode if you're in landscape. If you're in portrait, it forces 2D mode. And then on the front facing camera, only portrait shoots in uh, stereoscopic. If you're doing landscape, it's, it forces 2D mode. Um, but it's capable of doing 3D on both sides, so that's pretty cool. It also has a really big battery, a 4,500 milliamp hour battery in here. And battery life was no problem with this sucker. You're really not even tapping into that. USB-C. Also a headphone jack or courage port, as uh, as Matteo Doni would like to call it. Uh, and then it has this easy access uh, SIM card tray as well as a micro SD card slot. So you can just pull it out without a tool. That's really nice. Uh, and it is running Android 8.1 Oreo when you're not looking at me and uh, Leo in the in the office there. Um, I, I mean, I think... When you look at the when you look at the phone, it's only going to appeal to a certain amount of people. So that's going to you know dwindle down the the market that this is for automatically. Like I'm, I'm sure there are a number of people that would see this and immediately say that is not the kind of styling that I want in my phone. The phone probably isn't designed for them. Um, you know, it's large, it's heavy, it's got bezels galore, which is not a very modern kind of, uh, you know, design aesthetic that that we see very much of these days. And uh, again, you got the pogo pins on the back that carry the promise of, of the future. Pretty clean version of Android, although there is some cruft in there. You know, there's actually a Facebook app that's on here that you cannot remove, which is kind of a bummer. Um, for, many, for many reasons. Yeah, you know, I, I moved <laughs> it out of the, it, it occupied its own screen. <laughs> Just the Facebook uh, app on its own screen and the home screen, and so I removed that. That's the best as I could do. Uh, and then you have a number of you know Red's own apps. This is 3D. If you were if you were here in person, um, that are basically just like here's a bunch of content that's going to work with 4V. But I don't know how much you're really going to get out of that. Like I was able to find a couple of games, Asphalt 8, which is a great game. There's a 4V version of it here in this app store, and I played it and. You know, it's neat. It's it's nice. Like, I've played the game a million times in 2D, and so to get some of those elements in, in 3D, or as they would say, 4V, it's nice, but it's it's just not going to sell devices in and of itself, you know? So there's a number of Red's own software on here. Uh, Hydrogen Network has some longer form 4V videos that you can kind of use to, you know, to watch kind of the scenery and wildlife and stuff and go, ooh, wow, that's in 3D. That looks really cool. Um, and... I will say that in kind of playing around with the phone, I noticed some kind of choppy transitions, uh, it was some frame dropping. In a thirteen hundred dollar phone, I feel like that's kind of inexcusable. Um, yeah. But but those things appeared, you know, uh, time after time. Not not right. Not every single time I would transition around, but uh, especially like scrolling. If I was on a page and I was scrolling, it would be really kind of choppy at times. And yeah, you know, that's kind of disappointing when you're spending that much money on a phone. Um, the display oh, itself. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go for it. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Yeah, I totally agreed. But where did they put the money in what you spent? Yeah. Did they put it. You know, like like it's all about. We talked. We talked last week about you make decisions about what you can put into these phones and what they don't. Where? What justifies that cost if that's happening? You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, this whole phone is a is is an enigma to me. It is. <laughs> it's totally an enigma. An enigma. There's there's a some a decent amount of, of phones that are coming out this year that we've talked about on this show that are doing things different. So you have to give them props. Like right, we're always talking about like, yeah, oh, man, innovate, do something different. Yeah. These companies True. are doing something different. But I, I feel like they're doing things different, but are they doing things that are going to, you know, really move the needle or, or start a new trend or, or you know, maybe it stands out, but does it stand out in a good way? Uh, I don't know. I guess it remains to be seen with, with this phone, whether it's in a good way or not, but I think it's kind of starting behind the others just in a number of different ways. And it's really hard to catch up from there, especially considering 
the price tag. So, um, you can show some of the photos if, if you don't mind, Josh. Um, I put a link to some of the photos from, from the camera. I mean, you don't see these in 3d, but if you were in on my phone, you would, and they look, you know, interesting in and of themselves. The cool thing is this one actually looks really cool in 3d with the fence up close. Uh, the cool thing is when you shoot in 3d, you're also shooting, it, it also saves a 2d version of it. And I mean the 2d, my, my girl was sick today. So th this is a picture of her putting Lego together. Um, the, um, the 2d shots are fine. You know, they're not amazing, and Red is a camera company. So, again, if you're spending that money, I think you kind of hope that the, the pictures are going to be, you know, really, really okay. awesome, and they're fine. <laughs> like, this was in our meeting room, and that's really not that impressive. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, I, f I feel like some of the things that this should have gotten right, it didn't, and that's going to hold it back. So, if the camera module comes out and it becomes the differentiator, maybe I would change my recommendation. You know what I mean? If, if that comes out and this becomes an affordable entry point for red quality cameras, that's one thing. And that's totally valuable in and of itself. But as it is right now, it's really hard to recommend uh, the red hydrogen one phone for the cost, for, for what you're spending, what you're getting. The 3D effect really kind of burns off pretty quick after, you know what I mean? Like it's cool the first couple of times, but how often are you really spending time within there? Almost the entire UI and everything inside the phone is 2D anyways. So, and it, and it cuts the resolution. When you move to 4V, the, res the sharp resolution of the 2D display, I don't know if it's cut exactly in half, but it's definitely limited and you see a shift right before your eyes and suddenly things get blurrier. Uh, it's in 3D, but it's a little blurrier. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to recommend as it is right now. So... That's the red hydrogen for $1 one for thirteen hundred dollars. Starting, you know, there there are. I will say it has a dedicated uh, camera shutter button. That's that's kind of nice. I like it when phones have that. That makes taking pictures a little bit easier. But thirteen hundred dollars. Yeah, thirteen. That red button is thirteen hundred dollars. <laughs> that's where they put the money. <laughs> and you do get a medallion. You get a red medallion in the box. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's Does not it glow to the like phone. Iron Man's? Uh, little... No. It's it's like a coin, but with a red center i should have brought it in here my yeah. my apologies but. so uh, so i i so I'm, I'm getting a don't buy vibe from you mm -hmm. i i couldn't i couldn't uh possibly recommend to someone hey you should buy you should <laughs> so buy this 1300 dollars here's phone. so here's my question to the all about android listening audience in the community are you a yes i'm gonna buy this phone person and if so write in and tell us why yeah all right and then furthermore send a photo of you with the phone to prove that you actually are that person. Yes. Because I don't think this person exists. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, maybe creators. Maybe there. Maybe there's maybe. a certain level of creator that's like, I want the ability to shoot easy uh, 3D, you know, photos and videos. And if so, there aren't many games in town, and you could do a whole lot worse than going with a brand like Red. They're they're very well known in cameras. Yes, this does that, and it has an integrated viewer for that content. So maybe if you're a creator, this is a good good way to go. But yeah, I'm very curious. Outside I'm, of that, I don't know. I'm asking my friends who are filmmakers who use red cameras if they if they are gonna get this phone. I I, I think the answer is gonna be no. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, probably crazy. not. Yeah. Well. So, anyways, that's the red hydrogen one. Let us know if you have one. Triple A at twit.tv. We'd love to hear from you.